Martial arts, but he made you who you are. Animal. Animal. How did McGregor got his boxing license? What's up? What is McGregor in a boxing ring? Why not? Victor Ortiz. Hey, Victor Ortiz, get him, get him, Victor. Victor, what up? What up? Look at Victor right here. He gave a couple pounds there. No. He gave a couple pounds. gonna put him on the snap. Victor. Hey, follow I have a Victor on the snap. Oh, 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 Victor, get ready, get ready. Whoop your ass, Victor on the team. Get off. Victor, Victor on the team. Get off. Get your ass. That's one and only Victor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the word team. Hey, Victor, boy. Straight to the snap. Look what happened to have in my car. Huh? Oh shit. Look what happened to having my car, dog. That's the shit right there. Yeah. Yo, I like that. I need that. Yo, yo. That shit was hanging on my fucking stairway. Birdie, you want to clear up the stuff, man? People saying you're going to fight somebody. Man, I, I, you know what? I woke up that morning. I woke up that morning. People were telling me who I was fighting. I didn't even know. You know, I woke up. I woke up like all of y'all, and everybody calling me, telling me who I'm fighting. And I didn't even know. But, you know, if anybody in the boxing game knows me, they know that I've always been about my business. They know that me and Al Heyman, we have a close relationship. And they know that, you know, business doesn't, you know, I conduct my business in a real type of way. So mm -hmm. shit ain't gonna, you know, shit ain't gonna happen unless I say it. It goes down, uh, but just doesn't make no sense. Huh? I mean, you know, it has to go. I mean, not even just me. It has to go by the fighter. You know, I mean, you know, you gotta negotiate. You gotta talk. You gotta. You know, I've never. I didn't even. I didn't even hear about uh, 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 Chris Al. Like, like, I, I literally woke up that morning and I seen all. I mean, you know, everybody hitting me up saying that. So yeah, they made it seem like it was a done deal. No talks about nothing. We don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, the last time I even spoke that, I was a few days ago. And, and you know, everybody knows that Heyman is, you know, he wants you to enjoy the holidays. You know, we're talking right after the new year. We lock everything in. So it's not, it's not nobody was spoken about. We just know that we're about to, I mean, everybody's about to go. So after the holidays, we all gonna talk business. It's, it's a business. You know what I mean, you just don't say, oh, we're gonna fight him. Like, you know, I mean, like, we some pit bulls. <laughs> Who do you want? Who do you want, though? Man, it don't matter. Yeah. If they want to do it, if they want to do it, they want to do it, they want to report it, report it. If, 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 you know, who else? McGregor! Okay, who want me to fight McGregor? That would be a good one. I want to McGregor, see him get knocked out. Like I said, McGregor's my man, that's my homie, but at the same time, you yeah, know, he's smart. McGregor's gonna get, if he gets his boxing license, he's gonna go and fight for it, which he should get his money for the bottom. He doesn't need to fuck him up at all. He's not a boxer. He's not a boxer. I want, I want to see you in Porter. That'd be a good fight. Oh, that'd be really good. That'd be really good fight. You got a relationship with Sean then? Yeah, I've known Sean for a while, man. Sean's a good dude. Yeah, I respect Sean. I respect his pops. You know, me and him, you know, we got that same type of, you know, you know mental, what's up, man? Mental aspect, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we like the grind, we like to get it, so, I mean, that was set for a great fight. You know it's hard? All you guys at 147, I feel like you guys kind of all know each other. Isn't it kind of hard to kind of... No, it ain't hard. <laughs> it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, it's not. I mean, you know, I'm, I am mean, I don't know where everybody else is from, but when it comes to me, shit, we homies and let's scrap. You know what I'm saying? Keep like, his money. Yeah, man. You know, like, listen. Listen, yeah, we all cool, but, you know, we all trying to be best. So, shit, let's lock in. You know what I mean? Same thing you got your homie there. Hey, play basketball. Beat your ass. Let's go. Uh, let's do this. Let's go. Just 
that's the, I mean, that's the competitive spirit. It ain't got to be nothing, you know, truly personal. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some of my best friends are fallen amateurs. Andre Durrell, uh, um, Anthony Durrell, uh, you know, Tim Bradley. Yeah. Uh, I fought all these guys in amateurs. How do you not, like, try to go easy on them, though? Like, how do you, do you go full force at this party? You still want to hold back it's a little bit? Fight? Yeah. Fight? Yeah. Never? We, we, we fucking scrap. <laughs> ask Tim. Ask Andre. <laughs> ask all them when we fought. We were all friends. We fought. And we, I mean, later on afterwards, we all went and we fucking hung out and chilled. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, it's the competitive mindset. That's it.